here we go. You it's seem time. excited. I'm excited. I'm excited, and uh, it, it's all come down to this. It's been a long season. These teams have fought super hard, but it's not over yet, and I cannot wait to see what happens on the chessboard. So, yeah, absolutely. Let's I'm do it. Forward to the start. All right. Well, the games are uh, are, are beginning by Bishop D4, and now I believe we will King pro D6, yeah. probably see Ina Ina resign here now that Black has officially secured the E5 square, and indeed. That is what we see. So, uh, big win, the first result of the first round for Lee Chow. Will Bjorg Meyer do the same for board one? Wow, we hear the uh, applause down there for uh, Lee Chow, first game over. For the first time, we've actually hooked up one of the boards and tables with eye tracking devices that help us know what the players are thinking about. Uh, Grandmaster Wang Yue is currently focused around the, the queen side there. And one of the things that will be super interesting to me is as we tap into this um, this feature, Robert, is whether we see them focused on an area of the board or whether it's all in their head. We see Hikaru would be focused on the chandelier above, right? <laughs> but of a move like queen to c7. Uh, oh, so. huge threat. Let's say you play a5. Uh -huh. Does queen takes c8 work? You'd like that, wouldn't you? Because you're going to uh, drop a rook on h8. Yeah, I am. I know you're going to drop it like it's hot. That's puzzle rush talking yep. right there. Fork town winning the queen. And very, very important to be aware of tactics like that, right? Anytime you recognize the position of a queen versus a knight, you just have to be aware of the potential dynamics. Which means f6 falls in the same, same tactic. Oh, wow. Like that would be that would be a shocker right there if we saw Kolar make a blunder like this where black has to go down a piece. The king has no choice but to continue with a variation like that. So knight d3. Bishop E7. Okay, Bishop E7 officially stopped the tactic. Yes. Please don't, you know, don't try too hard to win. You don't need to. Whoa. Okay, so he... Whoa, he, he played D7. He must rook have... Rook G6 check. Rook G6 just Game. plays the rook. Okay, yeah. Game over. There's no perpetual. Queen F4 check. Yep. The king can go to H3, I believe. Or Rook G3, yeah. and it's over. He might push it too far, and he indeed is going to settle on the perpetual. What if Georg <laughs> did something random because 3.9 seconds? You can't do that for your, you know, your team. But yeah, there's, there's, no, there's no mouse slip potential here, so there's not even worth trying to trick your opponent. Indeed, they settle on a perpetual there, and uh, both players rise rise from their, their tables, push their chair in, and... Uh, that was a huge miss opportunity. We're still tied, four yep. to four. The yep. board fours are lose, lost two games, and you know that's kind of par for the course in the pro chess league. Right. It's really tough sledding when you're the board four playing. Oh, look at this lineup. I mean, yep. you played a twenty six eighty one, you played twenty seven oh eight. That's the angle. Uh, we have tested this. It is approved. Here we go. There you go. A young lucky fan gets a T-shirt. This should just be a Queen matter H2. Of, of time. Queen, Queen H two, King F one, Queen G one. King E2, Queen G2 then, I mean, uh, yeah, you know, got, there's Bueller, a main, Bueller, a where's the main? Okay, this is good to knight C4, knight B3, yeah, Queen takes, Queen takes A1 and knight B3, Queen takes A no. or knight B3. Come on, man, gotta right. win the Queen, that would be a wrong I, puzzle I like rush. simplification killed the cat. Yeah, dude. but your puzzle rush would be wrong. Oh, huge, huge win. Huge win. Huge win huge for win. Nonchenko. F8 is uh, probably the correct answer in puzzle rush, and indeed, Zhao Xun finds it, the pandas tie up the match and get this thing closer to a potential a potential turnaround. About tie he did breaks it. here he in just it. a minute. He finds it. Wang Yue it. leans in. Bishop D5. He found it. Wang Yue oh. shakes his head. The crowd already oh. begins to cheer. You can hear them oh. clapping for what they oh just witnessed, which was brilliance by Don Checo. He just sent the snowballs. <laughs> he just saved their 2019 season with a victory over Grandmaster Wang Yue. Alexander Donchenko, the hero for the snowballs, is real. Put my king on that. I know, nerve-wracking, Robert. Queen, Hold me. Queen, oh, the queen g6 doesn't quite work. Queen, queen but now eight. you can take no, g4 and play knight d3. Knight f3, he's going to take the d4 pawn this way. Queen d4 four pawn, but check, and oh, he wins no. f4. Oh, oh my no. gosh. And here goes f4 down That's two. That's it. The that, pandas, he has to give a check. Well, he's one second left, too. Keep the scramble. Oh, he traded oh, queens. Oh, Meyer forces the queens off the board. Nine, 95. And he, he might have just forced won. and punched he won his it. ticket into the championship. Yeah! The snowballs! <laughs> oh, my gosh! Oh. And Meyer forces his way through. Have you ever seen so much emotion from Georg Meyer? No, he's a stone-cold killer yeah, on the board, so but he crazy. does have emotion off the board. <laughs> Somebody... Oh my gosh. Oh, oh that, and he gets a hug that is, from the misses. Oh, oh my gosh. What a Absolutely moment. amazing. This is how you play exciting chess. This is how you entertain the people. Let's let Fabiano hear it if he gets this win, everybody, because this is the kind of chess you hope these uh, the best players in the world will be playing all the time. Queen to D1 looks like it's coming. 
I think Anna has tried very well. It, it's she started very well. The opening was good, and yep. in the middle game she had some pressure. She won an exchange, but then eventually Fabi understood the complexity of the position yep. more than Anna did. And you can see there, she knows she knows this one's over. She throws in the towel, and like 2800s do, they win chess games. Fabi and her car wanna. Helping to set the tone for the St. Louis Archbishops by winning in style here with the black pieces in game one. Yeah, I, I, are you seeing any moves? I think it's just no, over. it's yeah. just over. Yeah, I'm no. saying that the queen will get to yeah, g7 yeah. and it's over. I guess we caught the resignation on camera. And, and uh, it's handshake We have the time. first decisive result of the second half of this match. Rook g1, bishop c1, I, I think black just runs out. Yeah, Fabi just double checks, makes sure that he doesn't believe there's mate. Hike resigns. And Fabian on Carwana is helping to lead the Archbishops. Well, resigning with a smile, that's the spirit. You're facing hey, the world at, number his, two. Look at his, uh, he, he knows what he's here to do. He wins, but he's focused on the team. Bobby stands yeah. up and immediately looks at how his teammates are doing. No, that's that's just mate now. He just gave Rook G7. That's the line I just gave, Rook F7 Indeed, and Rook mate. G8. He just gave the, the line that we talked about. And, and he, he resigned and Bach gets it's a, a huge win for Benjamin victory. Bob. You hear the crowd going absolutely crazy here as the Archbishops put themselves in position to exact revenge on the reigning Pro Chess League champions. They are up two games heading into the last round of play, and wow, do we have drama. Wow. It that was awesome. Unbelievable. Amazing. Two points. I was, I was sitting here like with you. I'm like looking at the bar <laughs> the eye tracker. I'm like, what is he thinking about? I can't. It's amazing. That was awesome. Bishop a6, king a8, rook c8, knight c8, queen b7, queen b7 mate. mate. I went full Hikaru. You did it. I just blacked out. You did it. I went full Hikaru. <laughs> you did it, Danny. You did it. I'm so proud of you. Oh my gosh, I just blacked out. That, that's what it feels like to be Hikaru. <laughs> that's right what there. it feels like. For two seconds, you felt like Bishop Hikaru. Bishop a4, king a Honestly, it doesn't matter because the line I gave was wrong. LOL. It's um, all right. You almost did it. Wait, that's a rook. That's a rook, so you rook better. A7, you better. The queen comes in. It's provide. over. It's over. Oh wow! And Fabio Carwana, this is it. Jokes aside, this is moments away. We are moments away from what will be a bishop d7. The queen will come into b8. The queen will come to f8. Mate will be on the board, and the St. Louis Archbishops will be headed back to the Pro Chess League Championship. It's Mate's next move with queen f8. And that's it. Fabio Carwana. It's over. He shows up. He wins all four games, and he sends the Bishops back to the Pro Chess League Championship. That's why you bring 2800s to the Pro Chess League Finals, I guess. Indeed. Mike Kummer, the team captain, the, the Fabi, knew it. The Fabi hype is real in the Twitch chat. Use your emotes. Get your Fabi emotes your, and say no, Archbishop's emotes. I have a rematch of, uh, of last year's championship but this time competing and for the bronze. that was the last game of the match. Sean Sergisian versus Nicolas Theodoru. And the, it's uh, over. And the St. Louis Archbishops move in to the finals by a final score of 9-7. to seven. And uh, they will be taking on the, the bottom-bottom snowballs for the gold.